I have two of my most anticipated reads of all time in my hands as we speak. Do we want to see them? Yes or no? Do we want to see them? I'm going to show you anyway. Here we are. Are we ready? Drum roll, please. <laughs> Taming Seven by Chloe Walsh and God of War by Rena Kent. Two of my most anticipated reads and we're going to read it together. That's right. A non-spoiler reading vlog. Okay. We've done this once before where I read Funny Story and Love Unwritten, which were two of my other anticipated reads of the year. So if you want to go watch that, go right ahead and then come back. I'll wait. Are you done? We're going to assume that you're done. Anyway, so now we're going to read God of War and Taming Seven together as a team. No spoilers, but I am going to be telling you some out of context quotes and thoughts and feelings. And I will be telling you my rating at the end. So if you don't want to see that, if you want to go in completely blindly, maybe this is not the video for you. But if it is the video for you, then welcome. I'm so excited. I expect both of these to be five stars. If they're not, I'm sad and I'm going to just die and you'll never hear from me again. So lots riding on this. So I thought it was a good idea to start taming seven now. I was like, I have time. I waited till I got back from Coachella because I knew I wasn't gonna have time to sit and binge it. And I was like, I wanna sit and binge the absolute shit out of this book, okay? I don't think I'm gonna be able to binge it. I don't think I have the facilities for that big man because literally I'm on the preface, like the very beginning. And it says, I saw her and that's when I knew. That's when I knew. And immediately, I'm crying. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it through this book. That's the preface. You guys, that's not even page one. That's like page zero. That's like pre-page one. Why am I crying? You're my favorite person ever in the whole wide world. <laughs> Seeing everyone again and being back in this universe, I'm just so emotional. Like Lizzie and, and Claire and Gypsy and Hugh and Joey and Eva and Johnny and Janet. Okay, unpopular opinion, but I don't really have a strong urge to ship like Lizzie with anyone. Like I, I feel like she could, like I see the people that say Feely, I get it. I also see the people that say Hugh. I also see the people that say Katie with Feely. I also see, I, I see all the vibes and I don't really know where Chloe's gonna go with it. And I kind of don't mind. Like I wanna see what she does. I don't ship, like I feel like I'm leaning towards Katie with, with Hugh. I feel like I'm saying his name wrong. <laughs> I should look at the glossary. I'll look in a second. I feel like I'm, I'm leaning towards that way and then I'm he healing, leaning towards Feely with Katie because I feel like they'd be so healthy and great together and she deserves that. And I feel like Hugh and Lizzie, like they've been, you know, since the womb, they've been meant to be. That doesn't even make any sense. But you know what I'm saying, right? They have history there. So I'm leaning towards that way. But if Chloe were to like do a switcheroo and switch the couples, I, I think I'd be okay with that. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I don't think it would be. I, I like the decision I just made. Anyway, with that being said, the mess already begins, like right from them being kids. They're already kind of showing the mess that is going to be that love rectangle, whatever the fuck you call it. I'm so excited for that book to come out. I haven't even finished this book, but I'm so excited for that one. You can hold my hand forever. You promise? I promise. Okay. Okay. I'll just be here sobbing. It's fine. He who, the same way he hurt me. He who, what is happening? What is happening? Did I know about this before? What is it? I, why do I feel like I don't know what's going on? Why do I feel scared? I'm only at the beginning. I'm literally only like 15 pages in and I'm scared. Y'all, why is this kind of funny? <laughs> look at this quote. I was gonna like highlight this quote and say it's so cute, but look at this quote. If I could sew this girl to my skin without causing her an ounce of harm, then I would do it in a heartbeat. That's how vital she was to my life, how essential she was to my existence. Up until that point, I was like, oh my God, what a beautiful quote. But then he goes, if drugs were to Joey Lynch, what Claire Biggs is to me, then there was no amount of rehab that could sway me to kick the habit because she was the habit of my life, Ted. <laughs> Did he just compare Joey's addiction to his love for Claire? <laughs> like what? That's so out of pocket. <laughs> Like, that felt like it was not necessary to throw in there. Can we relax on Joey a bit? Thanks. Through a lot of hard work and struggle, I've made it to page 50. I've made it 50 pages in, and I've only cried the whole time. Anyway, these two quotes I highlighted for you. Are you ready? Without realizing it, they had created a personal savior in their son. <laughs> Gypsy and Johnny's friendship is everything to me. Okay. And then number two. The sky was blue outside, the birds were out, the sun was shining, it was another blissful morning, and I wanted to scream. 
I don't want to continue. Anyway, I was just being dramatic. I'm continuing. I'm continuing. Don't you worry. I was going to say that Huey just always being there for Lizzie is my favorite thing ever. Like she's so, she's going through so much. I will always protect Lizzie, y'all. I will always protect Lizzie. Please don't let go. Never. Not in a million years. It's the way that I was like really excited to read this one because I thought it was going to be all cutesy. Where is the cutesy? Where is the cutesy? Because so far it's just been pain. You know what? I'm stopping here for today, y'all. I got to what page what chapter am i on i think i'm on chapter eight please hold i'm on chapter eight everyone and i'm stopping here for today because because i'm unwell <sighs> i'm back i'm back it's been a week since i last saw you since i last picked this up since i last was able to read this book but i'm prepared now i think i'm mentally ready to hopefully read a decent amount i hope that i'm not sobbing every five seconds and i hope that i can actually read it we're gonna try as a team i just oh, guys it's taking me so long to read this just because i every single sentence i want to die cry and throw up because i love these characters so much and then not having them in my life feels like i'm gonna just wither away you know and then i have to wait for the next book and then what am i gonna do so that might sound dramatic but it's true <laughs> now i have seen i'm not gonna lie i have seen a lot of people hate this book absolutely hate it i i haven't gotten far enough to tell you my opinions i'm what like 20 pages in <laughs> I wrote 20 pages in two weeks. That's 10 pages a week. <laughs> okay, we're going to read a decent chunk today. Mark my words. Here we go. He here, we here, here we go. I am strong enough. I am strong enough. Say it with me now. I am strong, I am strong enough. enough. I'll give you my weekends, Claire. I'll give you my weekdays, too. <laughs> I'm not strong enough. The Johnny and Shannon crumbs, you guys. I'm eating. I'm eating. Also, can we talk about Joey and Aoife? They just, they are everything to me. And seeing them finally just have everything they deserve. Like Halloween, them dressing up as Joker and Harley Quinn. I haven't seen it, but I heard of it. And therefore, I'm immediately invested. I love it. I want to be there. You know, Harley Quinn, Joker, and then I can be. I can be Penguin, maybe. That's okay. I could be the villain. I could be, what else could I be? I could be Batman. I'll be Batman. I'll be your Batman. Yeah, let's do it. Don't bet against him. He'll forge an epic future for Aoife and AJ, just like he forged an epic future for his siblings. <laughs> no, I can't do it. I can't do it. You know, I tried. I gave it a good, good, solid effort. I think that's all I can take for today. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna continue reading. I'm gonna continue reading. You know what? We are not quitters over here. We are not quitters. We are. We are gonna continue. We're fine. We're fine. Oh my goodness me! This quote has broken me. Ready? Johnny's talking about having kids with Shannon and how he would love some. He says, they ask him like if if he would like a boy or a girl, and he says, whatever Shan can give me, I'll take whatever she's willing to give me. You know, I think I'd love a daughter. I'd be delighted with sons too, of course, but I'd love to raise a little girl with Shan. You know, show her how different it should have been for her. <laughs> Hold on just a little bit longer. You know that song by Jonas Brothers? A little bit longer and down be fine siri play that song please um lizzie 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 girl girl i can only defend you for so long lizzie what i all of a sudden i want to crawl into the book and slap you but listen all the characters in this book in these books in boys of tom and they all need therapy they all need help for poor poor souls so i'm just gonna go ahead and not slap you i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and and just just be there for you but just know that I'm very mad at you right now. You're on timeout. You're on timeout. I love all these characters so much that I don't think I can ever hate one of them. But I'm, I'm getting I'm getting real close right now, y'all. While I might be cradling her face in my hands, she was holding my life in hers. Yeah, this is about as much as I can take. I fear I will not be able to go on tonight, you guys. I'm on chapter, I think, 25. Yeah, I'm on chapter 25 or... 26 something like that and and that is about it for today okay i did my best i tried i read just about as much as i can take i love this book so much you know what i'm gonna rate it five stars like i know people are hating on it and they probably have very valid reasons i haven't seen the reasons but 
it's probably valid. It, it probably makes sense, you know, but I just don't think I can rate any book in this series less than five stars. I really don't think it's physically possible for me because I'm so biased. Like I just, I love them so, so, so much. You can never take my opinion and think of it as like a good opinion, like an opinion you can actually listen to because I just love them so much that even if it was like one page, I would be like, well, five stars <laughs> because I'm so emotionally attached. So do with that information what you will. I'm stopping for right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna choose peace. I'm gonna go watch my brothers. Another day, another time. I try to finish Taming Seven. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish. I got through. I don't even know what I got to last time. I think I got to like a hundred something, and then I called it quits. But you know what? I'm gonna power through. I'm stronger than I was before. I give myself a couple days, and by a couple days, I mean like maybe almost a month, but you know what? I'm struggling. I'm struggling to finish this because I'm so attached that I cry every time I think about it and every time I try to read it. I've tried to read it in the past month. Like I've read a couple pages here and there and I just, you know what I mean? But I will say I have thoughts so far. Listen to my thoughts, okay? I feel like this book is more about Lizzie than it is about Claire and Gibsy. I absolutely fucking hate that because Claire and Gibsy, you're telling me they only get one book and then in their one book, you're going to focus on side character more than you focus on them. Like it feels like a pre-Lizzie book rather than a Claire and Gibsy book. Hate that and hate the fact that it's just like, it feels like friendship. Like I know that it's supposed to be like friends to lovers, but where's the lovers, you know? So those are all things that are annoying me thus far, but you know, I'm a whore for this series. So I'll probably still rate it five stars. Let's be honest. I am biased first in a human second, <laughs> but here we go. I'm stronger than I was before. Is it bad that my favorite parts are seeing Aoife and Joey? Like she just said, hey stud, and he said queen, and I melted. <laughs> all of a sudden, I am but a puddle. Like that's all it takes for me to die inside. And they're dressing up as Harley Quinn and Joker for Halloween. Again, I'm dead inside. Can I partake? Can he be Joker? You be Harley Quinn, queen, quit, Quinn, mm-hmm, words. You be Harley Quinn. I'll be Batman on the side. Like I know I'm not on your team, but I'll be there. I'll be Robin. I'll be any DC character you want. I really just don't give a fuck. I'll just be there. As long as I'm there with you, your paper. I need to hear your voice. Why? Because I need to know it's you touching me. <laughs> no, it's fine. No, like it's fine. I'm okay. I'm fine. The fact that Joey knew of what Gypsy did for him and Eva really gets me. And the fact that Joey's just like ride or die all the time. Like he's like, who are we killing, Gussie? Who are we fighting? <gasps> I love that man. I love that man. Joey and Johnny are just unbeatable. Like I, I don't know how you can top that. And I will say it's not, it's not doing a good job trying because it's not even fucking close. <laughs> I killed you with my hymen is all of a sudden my favorite line. Out of context, that sounds crazy, but well, no, yeah, it's pretty much, the context is pretty much there, yeah. You, you, it's, I would say it's not what it looks like, but it is exactly what it looks like. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Giant, I kill you with my hymen. Well, that's long gone. Fuck. You know, if there was a sentence I could say, I had never thought I would hear it. It's, Seven whole weeks had passed since his ladder had taken its maiden voyage into my tree. What does that mean? What does that mean? Like, I, like what is that? What is, sweetie? The birds and the bees talk. Who gave it to you? Because what is that? What is that? Aoife giving Shannon and Claire advice and talking about things with them that, that like girlies talk about makes me so fucking happy. Like that's exactly what I wanted. Thank you for that. That is the one thing this book is getting right. <laughs> Shan, I love you, baby, but I'm not the audience for her narrative. Yes. Yes, Johnny. Yes. Yes. Yeah. No. No, no, Claire, what are you doing? No, stop. No, I beg, I beg, I beg everything in the universe for you to stop. If there, if there, if there is anybody listening, hello, Chloe Walsh, stop it. Stop it right now, don't do what I think you're gonna do. Well, you did it. <laughs> you did it, La yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. you did that. Was it unnecessary? Absolutely. Am I angry? 100%. Do I wanna chuck this book across the room? Yeah, but I'm gonna refrain myself and carry on my wayward son because I want to finish, but also I sort of want to die. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's okay. You're the best friend I've ever had, and I love the fucking bones of you, and if you think this is going to chase me off, then you have another thing coming because I'm never leaving you. Do you hear me? Because you're my Gibbs, and you're my calf.
what the fuck? What the fuck? Not only was that the saddest fucking shit I've ever read, but also, what was that ending? Everyone just all over, what, what? I finished, but at what cost? I'll tell you thoughts tomorrow. I can't even really compose myself right now. I need to think on this. As of right now, I'm like, five stars. I love it so much. I already went on Goodreads and put five stars. And now I'm like, wait, did I get ahead of myself? Like, what's, what's going on here? Is your brain okay, sweetie? So I'm going to sleep on it and then let you know tomorrow. Because as of right now, I feel like I can't trust myself. I feel like I've just felt way too many things all at once. Like, I cried, I laughed, I had many giggles and many tears. And I'm a little all over the place. I have anger inside me, but also love. So I need to gather all those emotions privately. And then I'll be back and let you know what I thought. As of right now, it's five stars. <laughs> we'll see. So I officially finished Taming Seven by Chloe Walsh, one of my most anticipated reads of all time. And I will say I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm not that disappointed because I still got a lot of moments that I loved, but I just expected it to be a five star and it's a 4.5. I rated it five originally. Like originally when I finished it, I was like, oh my God, five stars. I love this book. I would die for this book. And then I spent like a week or two, a week or two, a couple days thinking about it. And now I'm like, no, it's not. It's not a five star. It's definitely a 4.5. And that's me being extremely biased. Like I'm rating a 4.5 because I love Boys of Tommen so much and I can't physically rate it any less than a four star or else I would burn alive. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, but I would be very sad rating it less than that. You know what I mean? Just because I feel so passionate about the characters, but this is not what I wanted out of a Claire and Gipsy book, especially because we don't have another one. Like this is it. It just should have been so much better. Like it didn't have the feeling that Joey and Aoife's book has. It didn't have the love that Shannon and Joey, Johnny have. It didn't have, even the found family was like lacking. Like we got a little bit of that at the end, but not even that much. I don't know. It felt like more of a friendship than a romance. And it felt like all of the things we got from Claire and Gipsy in the other books wasn't even the same as it was in these books. Like it didn't even feel like the characters we know and love. You know what I mean? So I sadly am very, very upset to report that it is a 4.5 star for me. Still a high rating, but not the rating I wanted it to be. With that being said, spoiler thoughts, let me tell you why I'm rating it the way I am, okay? This felt like a Lizzie prequel. Like it quite literally felt like the whole story was about Lizzie and it was just her being an absolute menace to society. And I will say, I understand her. I know why she is the way she is. And I'm excited to read her book and I wanna see her and Huey, but it's just like, enough is enough. You know what I mean? You can be in pain, but not treat people like shit, especially your best friends. Like the things that her and Claire said to each other, it's things I would never utter to a human being, let alone my best friend. You know what I mean? So I just hated that. I hated how many jokes she made on Gypsy's expense. Like, you can't just say, I wish it was you that drowned. Like, what? What? I don't care how much pain you're in. You can't say that to someone, especially because other people are going through things too. Like the entire book, Gypsy was going through something and it just felt like he wasn't supported at all. And then in the end with everyone getting separated, just really pissed me off. Like, I love that Johnny took a stance. I love that he was like, I'm team Gypsy all the way. Their moment was literally my favorite thing in the world. Like the crumbs we got from Johnny and Shannon, the crumbs we got of Joey and Aoife were the reason this is a 4.5, but I expected a lot more from Claire and Gypsy. I expect a lot more from the characters, from Lizzie, from all of them. Also the fact that Claire was the one that outed like everything that happened to him I hated that like what the fuck is wrong with you you just told all of his trauma to everyone I know that it was an accident but what the fuck I wanted it to be him in his own terms telling people you know with that being said Claire also had zero personality like I feel like Gypsy was the entire book and Claire was like a side character in her own book and the other ones Johnny and Shannon have the same amount of like like you were so invested in both of them same with Aoife and Joey but then with this one I was just invested in Gypsy it feels like Claire was just nothing like she was just good comedic relief again because I'm so attached to these characters because I'm so emotional just thinking about them like just opening up this book I was already emotional I have to rate it 4.5 because I love them so much but it just does not deserve a 5 it does not live up to what Boys of Tommen is to what the other books are every single other one has been a five star for me and i just can't in good conscience do that with this one so disappointing yes but hopefully god of war will be better <laughs> we can only hope things can only go up from here it is time it is time do you want to see what i have in my hands i will show you say no more I'm literally screaming, crying, throwing up. I have been waiting so long for this. This book literally comes out in like two days. So you'll be seeing this video this week. I'm so excited. 
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna read God of War, you guys. I, okay, here what I'm expecting, okay? I'm expecting to like it and love it and everything. I don't know if it's gonna top God of Fury for me, just because that book is so dear to my heart. Like, I've read God of Fury, I think, five times back to back to back, within the span of, like, a week. So I don't know if God of Fury will be topped, but I do expect it to be, like, in the same level as, like, God of Wrath, something I love so much, you know? But I don't know, let's see. Eli and Ava, I just don't know that much about them. Like we've gotten crumbs of them, but we haven't gotten too, too much. So I don't know how their story is going to go, but this is officially the ending of Legacy of Gods, the ending of the Reniverse. I still have a lot to go through. Like I'm going to go back and, oh my God, it's signed. <gasps> XOXO Rena. Thanks, Rena. How cute. <laughs> I'm so excited. Here I go. I'm not moving from this couch as of right now, unless I fall asleep. Because I did just take my lorazepam yesterday to fly you guys. So I could possibly fall asleep because the next day, usually, I'm very tired after taking lorazepam. So if I fall asleep, you mind your business, okay? But for now, God of War and I, we're, we're attached to the hip. Okay, here we go. Oh. <laughs> so far, I've only read chapter one, but let me just tell you that the vibes are vibing, okay? I haven't read a paperback, I would say, in a really long time. And I'm able to read this which i think is a good sign let's see but we already got some cecily and jeremy crumbs which i'm living for no sign of nico and bran yet so <laughs> is it too soon to ask for them like it should have been on page one that i already got a glimpse but anyway this quote really got me i even okay i haven't annotated in so long i'm not gonna put tabs or anything but i even highlighted and like underline something. Ready? Despite the shadows, the chaos, the noise, and the endless people separating us, I see him clearly, too clearly, as if the world is transparent and he's the only tangible being in the mist. Yes. Yes. I don't know what's going on and I don't really know the timeline of this. Like, I don't know when exactly this is happening in the Legacy of Gods universe, but I will figure it out. I will figure it out. Don't worry. Remy not getting a book, especially after that first chapter, is honestly like it's it's unfath unfathomable is that a word unfathomable if it's not a word then it is now what the fuck how could remy not get a book like i know authors you know the story speaks to them and all of that but how could remy not speak to you how could he not speak to you anyway look at this quote you guys this conversation really got me uh rena already posted this on her stories and stuff so i know it's not a spoiler so i'm gonna read it to you okay he goes is this the part where i get on my knees and beg and she says i'm afraid that won't cut it how about if I send flowers and a box of chocolates? Unoriginal. Try harder. If I cry into my pillow, only if I get to witness it personally. And then he says, so I have a shot. Fantastic. I'm already down bad crying on the couch for these two. So apparently Ava plays the cello, which I didn't even realize by the cover. <laughs> but you know what that immediately reminds me of? The scene in High School Musical <laughs> where he goes, I played the cello. And the dude goes, awesome what is it a saw no dude it's like a giant violin and for some reason i'm imagining ava and eli say that's funny to only me if you laughed let me know <laughs> killian and glenn have officially been mentioned and also brian and nico have been mentioned and all of them have been mentioned and i'm just getting every little crumb i want and more and i'm dying and throwing up but also i'm so confused on what's going on again the timeline it makes sense to me but i'm like i'm so in the dark of what's going on i'm i'm ava right now like i'm only seeing what she's seeing and i just i don't know what happened i don't know how this could have happened i don't know what's going on i don't know if i'm gonna enjoy like i usually don't like this trope i usually hate this trope but i feel like rena can't can make me like anything so let's see i'm just wow I don't want to stop reading. I'm on page 39 and I'm having a fabulous time. I don't even want to sleep and I'm tired. So that's how you know. This is looking promising everyone, but let's not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. For some reason, it really gets me when a fictional man calls the woman her, his property. Like that, hello? Feminism out the window. Feminism has been chugged. Feminism has been thrown. Why is that attractive to me? If a man in real life turned to me and said, you're my property, I would throw up on his face. Projectile vomit. But then in a book, I'm like, ah, how sweet. He cares. Like, hello? Make it make sense. Also, I'm getting a little bit tired. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my God, I got beef this new toy. Not a toy, a bed. I need to show you. So he has like these throughout the house. So he has like this one in the living room and he has one in my room. I got also one of those like cat laser toys that whenever he passes by it, it's gonna play. And then he has all his toys in my room, right? But I also got him this. It's like a tunnel bed. Guys, he's inside. Do you wanna see him? Let me show you. Look at that. 
Oh my god. <laughs> That's my favorite thing ever. I may lose him until the end of time because he may just be there forever. I also got this new blanket that I love. This is all like completely besides the point, but I need to update you on my life because these are the little things lately that have brought me joy. So let me live, okay? Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, property. Bad real life, good fictional life. <laughs> The vibes right now is I'm reading God of War and I am in fact drinking an Alani. It's like 10 p.m. But who's gonna stop me? You know what I mean? I'm an adult. <laughs> this is why I shouldn't be an adult. But here we are. Anyway, one of my favorite tropes is like when they get really mad at each other and he picks her up and like throws her across his shoulder or like picks her up bridal style, whatever, and then walks out of the place. And that just happened. So therefore I'm content. Also their banter is everything like look at this i'm gonna read this part to you guys it's again not really spoiler it's just like a quote i'll read it very very little okay if you don't want to know skip this part but she goes it must have slipped my mind darling and he says your forgetfulness is one of my favorite things that one of the many things i adore about you beautiful and she goes you go first babe and he goes we go together sweetheart oh i can't breathe without me hun i'm positively dying <laughs> Their banter and their way of like using nicknames to piss each other off and the fact that they hate each other so much But you could just tell they love each other Yes, yes, I'm gonna read a hundred pages today. Like I'm on page 79 I'll probably get to 100 and then I'll be done for today, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll continue I don't know. So I'm on chapter 11 and I'm having such a good time, but I will say I have lost count of how many times the words Mrs. King and Mr. King have been said. Like, I love a good my wife moment. I love a good, like, your Mrs. Me kind of vibe. But oh my goodness. It's like half the words. It's like all I've read. <laughs> but you know what? I'm not complaining because I'm having a great time. And right now I'm getting glimpses of the other characters from Legacy of God. So I'm thriving. It's not the ones I want quite yet because we know who I'm waiting for. We know who I'm waiting for. I'm a big fan of Creighton relationship with Eli and the fact that he's just like ride or die for him. I'm like, yes, yes. I'm also a big fan of Ava being a bad bitch. Like she doesn't just roll over and listen to whatever Eli says. She's like, no, fuck you, <laughs> which I love. I'm having fun. This is not as funny as God of Fury, in my opinion. Like God of Fury, I was laughing every single page and then I was dying and crying, but also laughing at the same time. So I don't think this will top God of Fury, if I'm being honest. I'm only on page 130, so I don't know yet. I, I don't want to make that statement and be wrong, but it's just God of Fury felt different to me. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I'm, I'm enjoying it, though. I'm having a good time. So I have officially reached, what does it say? Page 138. I'm on chapter 13. But now this guy, this guy showed up and he said that we must hang. So hang we will. <laughs> so I have to pause reading for today, but I will say I just passed a little scene that was, you know what I mean? It was not fully there, but it was, you catching my drift? You picking up what I'm putting down? You dig? What are you talking about? <laughs> they got it. You got it, right? You guys get me. Anyway, now we're going to go watch Bad Boys for Life. AKA the movie's about us because me and you are bad boys for life. Yeah. Ew. Ew! What'd you do that for? What'd I do? You just like... Mm. No, I didn't! <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't! <laughs> Stop No, you No, lost, I won't do it. You've lost my trust. I won't do it, I promise. You've lost my trust. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's it for right now. Bye. Guess who's back? T -t back again. Yeah, yeah, Larry's back. Tell a friend. I'm going to continue reading God of War, y'all. This is how much I've gotten through so far. I'm gonna go try to binge some. I brought my handy dandy headphones, so I'm gonna play some music. I have my Alani Orange Kiss, so we're ready to go. We are perfectly ready for a binging marathon. And I put the lamp next to me so that I could see, because one thing about me is I am blind as a bat. Are black bats blind? Blats blind? Are blats are bats blind? Because my contacts are negative 6.75. <laughs> Can't see. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I brought the lamp, I have the Alani, I have the headphones, I have my handy dandy blanket. We've got everything ready for us to succeed. So here we go.
two things we have to talk about. Number one, the group chats are my favorite thing in all of these books. Number two, I miss the heathens. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I love the group between like Landon, Brandon, Remy especially. Remy, Remy, Remy. I'll die on this altar. No, that doesn't make any sense. I'll die on this hill. <laughs> Me dies at the altar. Anyway, and Creighton and Eli. I love their group, but there's just something about Jeremy and Killian and Nikolai. It just does it for me, okay? Anyway, I miss them. Thing number three. Did I tell you there were three things? There are three things. Landon saying my favorite firecracker Barbie about Ava is my favorite thing I've ever heard in my life. Thing number four. There's something else also. I love this quote. I have come to the grim conclusion that my wife has the destructive energy of a world war and the emotional IQ of a plastic flower. <laughs> I'm kicking and screaming and giggling. I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time. I have reached some really good chapters, y'all. Some really good chapters. I even look like I'm, I'm going through it right now. That's how good the chapters have been. Look at this quote. I'm dying dead. RIP me. Rest in peace me. Hashtag. Are you guys ready? This is all of us. It says, why are men better in fiction? Petition to transform the entire male population into men written by women. Please and thank you. <laughs> anyway, chapter 18 and like chapter 17 were really it. I really did enjoy them. And now I'm on chapter 20. Am I on chapter 20? I'm on chapter 20, yes. I still don't really know what's going on. I'm still like as lost as a squirrel in a bat cave. No, no. I don't want to say that. As lost as a cat at a dog park. <laughs> anyway, I am lost is what I was trying to say. I don't really know what's going on, but in the best way, like I'm not annoyed, but I do want to know. Like, I'm just like, tell me already. You know what I mean? It feels like too much back and forth, but that's just a little complaint. You know, who am I if I'm not a complainer? I will do it, but I will complain the entire time. That's me in a quote. It's like 10 PM and I'm still drinking this Alani. Why? I don't know. And then I complain that I can't sleep. Make it make sense. It's mental illness, isn't it? Like, if it isn't the consequences of your own fucking actions. Anyway, I will proceed to read. Yeah. Mm hmm Update. I'm pretty much halfway through the book. Like, this is how much I'm in. So I would say halfway. And I'm enjoying it. Don't get me wrong. I'm really enjoying. But it's getting a little bit too repetitive for me. Like, a lot of back and forth of the same thing. And I just kind of want to, like, like, switch it up. You know what I mean? It just, I don't think it's going to top God of Fury. I really, really don't. Unless something like happens phenomenal, I don't think it's gonna top God of Fury. I just, like, I'm still thinking about God of Fury. <laughs> but it is really good. You know what I mean? It's definitely not gonna be any less than a four star. I hope it's gonna be a five, but I just am not sure as of right now. Yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. I fear I've spoken too soon. I fear I've spoken too soon because I just got to chapter 21 and what the fuck? What the, what, what? Like when I said I wanted things to get going, I didn't mean in that direction. I meant actually the complete opposite. What? No. No. Because like, no, I refuse to accept that. <laughs> I know you told me. I refuse to accept it. Until I see concrete proof, I refuse to accept it. Because what? I am officially more than halfway and I have thoughts, okay? And by more than halfway, I mean I'm almost done. So I... I'm a little bit bored, if I'm gonna be extremely honest. I never wanna lie to you guys, so I'm, it's just not giving what I wanted it to give. Like, I feel like it's so much back and forth. I feel like it doesn't even, it doesn't even seem like it's a part of the Legacy of God series. Like, it's a completely different book. It's not even the same, like, like the group is not there. No one is together. It's just like, not giving crumbs of anything like the other ones did. They're not even in the same place. Like, it's just, it's really not giving with that. And then because I know nothing, it just feels like back and forth, back and forth without going anywhere. You know what I mean? And then a lot of things are pissing me off. Like that one scene, I I can't talk about it because it'll be a spoiler, but there is a scene that disappointed me because what the fuck, what the fuck? Let me tell you the chapter because then you'll at least know what I'm talking about if you've read it. And if you haven't read it, then I won't spoil, okay? Hold on, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Okay, chapter 21. Chapter 21 was very disappointing. It just did not live up to what I wanted. And then it, uh, these characters don't even feel like they're the same characters from when I read before in Legacy of God. I'm gonna continue and I feel like I'm gonna change my mind. I feel like it is gonna be amazing by the end once everything clicks. It's just as of right now, <sighs> big smile, big smile. Can you guys guess what's happening? Can you guys guess who's on page? 
If you guessed Nikolai, you would be correct. You would be correct. What's happening with um, Eli and Ava? I don't know. I don't care. But Nikolai. I believe I'm finally reaching answers, okay? I have this much left, and I think I'm going to get answers, and I think everything is going to be clear to me right now. So it's either going to impress me and make the book, and it's going to be a five star, and I'm going to be so happy, or it's just going to disappoint me, and 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 then, then I don't want to talk about it anymore. I will proceed to go to sleep and talk to you guys never. Let's see. I'm on chapter 43, and I can safely say that my favorite, favorite, favorite part was everything Cecily said. I'm not going to tell you, but everything she said was my favorite part. And I wish I would have seen that because then I would have enjoyed it more. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not enough for you to just tell me that's things I needed to see. And then my second favorite part is the group text between all of the guys from Royal Elite. That's definitely my favorite part, especially page 434. So if you know, you know. Also, Remy not getting a book is literally ridiculous at this point. Like, it's actually a joke. It's a joke, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to finish this and then I'll tell you full thoughts tomorrow. I need to like sleep on it, you know, but I'm going to finish it right now. I finished. I finished. I've listened to Torture Poets Apartment a million times. I've listened to Hit Me Hard and Soft a million times. I don't even think I can hear things anymore. It's just Lana and Billy playing over and over again in my brain because of how long I spent reading, but I finished. I will give full thoughts tomorrow because I really need to sleep on this. I really need to think this through. I'm not as happy as I wish I was, but I'll I'll tell I'll tell you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll tell you tomorrow. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Good night. <laughs> so I have officially finished God of War last night, as you guys saw, and now I've slept on it. I've thought about it. I'm gonna give you some non-spoiler thoughts first, and then we'll get to the spoilers. First of all, I am rating it four stars. I did fully expect this to be a five star. I was like hand on fire, hand on fire, hand in the fire. You know that saying, hand. Hand on, hand on fire. Should I fire Brandon on the dance floor? Whatever. The point is, I could swear it was going to be a five star. And when I started, I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited. But then it just felt like nothing was happening. Like it kept being the same thing over and over again. And then by the end, I was just kind of so fucking done with the situation. And a lot of things pissed me off. And I just couldn't give it more than a four star. The reason why it's a four though is because the series is still everything to me. Like I still love the series so much. I love the character so much that it can't be less than a four star. You know what I mean? Same vibe as Taming Seven, but it just wasn't everything I wanted it to be and more. I definitely was expecting a lot, a lot, a lot more from these characters. Like it feels like the characters weren't themselves. It feels like the book wasn't even a part of Legacy of Gods. It feels like a completely like different standalone, but everybody else is loving it. So I feel like this is just me. Like take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt, read it yourself. You're probably gonna love it. I I just, I think I expected too much. And of course I'm let down, you know? So four stars for God of War. Sadly, I, I don't even fucking want to talk about this again. That's how mad I am, but <laughs> you win some, you lose some. I lost both of these. So that's great. Now let's talk about full spoiler thoughts on God of War. Okay, if you've read this, let me tell you why I rated four stars. I wrote notes. Like I literally wrote notes so that I didn't forget a single thing last night. Are you ready? I wrote, this didn't feel like a legacy of God's book. <laughs> the others are in college and intertwine and every character's in each other's books. And that's what makes it so good. The found family, the love, but this was lacking that. It felt like Rena Kent tried to mature the books and went too far to the point that it doesn't even feel like it's a part of the series. Like literally this is years later after legacy of God's ends or like two years later, whatever. Ever, and none of the characters are together. They all move away, which I fucking hate. This is a book, this is fiction. They don't have to move away. You know what I mean? Like they all move away from each other. They're talking and stuff, but we don't even really get to see it. They're not interacting and you get crumbs of the couples, but it's just talking crumbs. It's just like, oh, Nico and Brand got married, by the way. Oh, also Cecily and Jeremy, they got married. And then you see their wedding at the very end, but like barely, you barely get the characters. You get Nikolai for like one second in one scene and it's not even him with Brand, it's just him. And then you never get him again. Ah. I just feel like it was for a last book locking everybody together and it didn't feel like a conclusion. It didn't feel like everyone coming together in the book ending. And also I do have a complaint about the POV of the parents that was chosen. It was Cole that had a POV and I feel like that's very stupid considering Aiden started like Sea of Gods, right? Like I, I mean, started the Rena verse. Like I read Aiden's trilogy and with that being said, I didn't finish Royal Lily yet. So like I said in the beginning, take my opinion with a grain of salt. But Aiden started all of this. So I feel like Aiden should have ended all of this. Like he should have been 
than the ones who get a POV rather than coal. You know what I mean? I just, I really didn't vibe with that. And it didn't feel like I like to save God's book. It felt like a completely different standalone. If I was judging it on like a standalone and like not a part of a series, I probably would have enjoyed it a lot more. But because I was expecting it to all come full circle, I didn't get that. Then I wrote, this is the last book and you're telling me we don't have moments of everyone together. <laughs> Okay, I already kind of talked about that. I'm not even crumbs, like most characters that didn't even fucking show up. Okay, I'm so annoyed about that. Like you're telling me we didn't even see Killian and, and Glenn like together. Like we barely saw them. Like we saw Annika and um, Creighton a little bit, like in one scene. We didn't even really see Nikolai and Brandon. We didn't even really see, like we saw me and Landon. We saw Landon, I guess more than the rest, but not even like, I have a lot of complaints about that. Like that's my biggest complaint, I would say. Then I have Cecily's speech, okay? Cecily's speech is what make this a four star. I wrote everything she said that Eli did for Ava was the most romantic thing I've ever seen in my life, but we didn't get to see any of it. If we would have seen it, I would have been much happier, but we saw none of that. His love was beautiful, but we didn't get to witness it. Like his love was gorgeous. Everything he did for Ava, everything that led up to the moment at the end of the book was for her. The entire two years, like all of it was for her, but we didn't see it. We didn't see him do any of it. We just heard that he did it from Cecily. Excuse me? That Oliver thing felt like such a random throw in just to make Eli kill someone for Ava. What the fuck? Like Oliver was not even relevant. And then at the very end, you throw that in, you kind of like wrap everything up in such a fast and lousy way. And it just felt like it was thrown in there just so Eli could kill someone. The ending felt rushed considering we spent the entire book wondering what the fuck happened. Yeah, literally from page one until the last chapter, you're wondering what's going on. When they finally tell us what's going on, it's not even like Ava actually remembered everything. Like it's not even like, you know, we get all of the two years again, showing us everything. No, it's just like very quick, the end, this is what happened. And then it wrapped up. Make it make sense considering the entire book you're confused. Also, they said Mr. and Mrs. King an ungodly amount of times. How many times can you say that? Like, we get it. We get the my wife trope. That's great. But how many times do you need to say it? I got it. Chewy. Bless me. Thanks me. And then I wrote, because it's Legacy of Gods, it gets a four star that is higher. It's higher than pain and ruin for me, but it does not beat malice, fury, or wrath. I love these characters, but I expected a lot more. That's basically my final thoughts. Like if I were to rank the entire series, it would be number one, God of Fury, number two, God of Malice, number three, God of Wrath, number four, God of War, then God of Ruin, and then God of Pain. <sighs> Overall, I'm disappointed, but because it's the Legacy of Gods book, I still enjoyed it just because, you know, I enjoy all things Legacy of Gods, but four stars and those are my reasonings. Moving on, but like I said, I think this is just a me thing. I think everybody else will love it, so still try it. <sighs> I am sad, but the universe is over and I'm excited to read my next Rena book when it comes out. It'll be great, uh, hopefully. <laughs> Well, shoddy bays of mine, I am here to report that, that that's it, okay? I physically am ill and don't want to talk about this anymore. Okay, I'm not ill. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just emotionally ill. I'm emotionally unwell thinking about the fact that both of these were not five stars. And I am very disappointed. But let me know your thoughts. Maybe, maybe I can change my mind. <laughs> can you hear me crying? I'm crying. Anyway, God of War, four stars. Taming Seven, 4.5 stars. Let me know if there are any more anticipated reads you want vlogs on. But at this point, you know what? I'm done. I am done finito. I am no longer hoping for the best because it just always is the worst. Okay, that's dramatic. I hope you have such a good day. I can't give you a forehead kiss because this is an outro. Let, hello? This is an, a voiceover. But imagine me giving you a forehead kiss. <laughs>